What's going on guys? So we are out here at Media Days at the Hershey RV Show in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Largest RV show in America. And I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of this Brinkley 2900 from uh, Brinkley RVs. This thing is super cool. It is a rear living room floor plan. Uh, they've done a, a couple really unique things. I'm going to try to showcase some of the nuggets that, that Brinkley does really well. They hide a lot of really cool things, innovative things throughout the RV. Let's take a closer look. Hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, let's start by looking at the numbers. This is gonna have gross vehicle weight rating of 14,495 pounds. So it's about a mid-weight RV. It's gonna have a dry weight of 11,916 pounds, cargo capacity of 2,519 pounds. So it's got a really, really good cargo capacity. That's why the dry weight's kind of low compared to the GVWR. It's gonna ride on 17 and a half inch Cooper tires, H-rated tires. Very, very nice. Now. One of the, the things to always notice about Brinkley is the fact that they're trying to do things different. They utilize a wiring harness, which is entirely different than the rest of the industry, a lot more expensive, and it's something that people have been asking for for a long time. Why? Because you eliminate a lot of the issues that you typically would have with a wiring harness, like wire chafing, things like that. You could still have that stuff, but it's less likely because when things are cut and routed specifically, you just don't deal with those problems as much. Got these Moride steps that you can flip over, get all the dirt off of them before you flip them up into the RV. That's a very, very innovative upgraded feature that Moride's added to this version of the steps. You also have this really cool Moride safety rail right here. Helps you get on board and it collapses down against it. Asdell construction, as well as really, really nicely warrantied for full-time RVing. All right, stepping inside. You can do a quick pan around so you can see what's going on here. Again, really cool floor plan, rear living room, so nothing entirely game-changing from that perspective. It's just different how, how they execute on it, and you're getting a really, really well-built RV. This is one of those things that I can honestly say, when you look at a Brinkley, you're looking at an RV that's really been well put together, and that's super cool. And you can see a lot of that just from the trim, the edges, how things are assembled, the tolerances. It all kind of shows whenever you walk through one of these. They, uh, they modified their windows a little bit here, so they moved to an actual full screen on this side, which they said a lot of their, their buyers were actually looking for, so that's really nice. They still have the square automotive style windows in here, gives it a really clean look. Um, a feature that I may have missed on another Brinkley um, is this really cool silverware drawer. They love to put really interesting things in interesting places. And if you don't want to use it for silverware, maybe you have kids and they do crafts and you want a spot for their artwork, their crayons, their things like that, their supplies. So whenever, you know, you're watching TV and the kids want to draw or paint, they can have a spot for all of their stuff. Of course, they have the really cool Ottoman style seat right here, which is also storage. And you can move this out and put it in front of the sofa if you want to prop your feet on it. It's just really, really great how they've laid that out. You have these amazingly comfortable kind of bucket seats on this side of the dinette, which is also really nice. Over here, this is their uh, their theater seating. You have wireless charging in the center. These are power seats with USB in them as well. Over here is your sofa. This turns into a large bed. It's a really, really good setup. And then back here, these actually flip up for storage. And then on the back, you have this right here which pops up for power and USB power. Nice cabinetry all the way around, magnetic holds. Not soft closing though. You have a televator right here. You're also gonna have more storage right here. Huge panoramic fireplace. You got some storage right here above and behind the TV if you have the TV up. All right, you have the rug up here on the island. Beautiful, beautiful solid surface island. This is kind of cool. Spot for two trash cans. And then of course you have your spot for your paper towel holder and then more storage behind it. And everything is finished off very, very well. As much as some other companies are trying to emulate this or copy this, the reason why they fail is because of stuff like this. They don't execute it on it as well and they don't focus on quality and fit and finish. They're just trying to give you a cosmetic looking unit that may have the same decals, something like that. Beautiful, beautiful setup over here. Has a three burner cooktop with the large oven beneath it, extra wide stove as well. A lot of prep space on each side. Beautiful wide view window over here as well. Above it, you're gonna have your residential microwave, more storage. Then you have this really cool side-by-side -side refrigerator from Furion. Very nice. 
Again, very residential. I believe it's 12 volt as well. In this space, you're gonna have your pantry. Huge pantry, love the fact that these drawers or these shelves are all adjustable, so you can move them around, which means if you have cereal on one of them or soup cans on the other, you're gonna have space for all of them, which I can really appreciate that. I love adjustable shelves and not enough manufacturers do it, especially the ones who are trying to emulate Brinkley, or at least look the same. That's real tile back here. Nice drawers as well. Again, all magnetic latches. So if you see some people struggle to open a cabinet, it's not because it's hard to open. Well, it's kind of because it's hard to open, but only because of the strength of these magnetic latches. Solid surface cabinet here. Again, great spot for a coffee maker. Got some storage here. Well, not really storage. It's more of an access for your fuse panel. They just wanted to conceal it. Nice soft closing cabinet there. Up here's all your controls. They've pretty much gone away from doing touchscreen stuff in these units because they want something that's a little bit more reliable with less chance of failure and something that doesn't require a lot of expertise to be able to operate. I think people appreciate that. A little coat hanging closet here. I love the fact that you can actually hang the coats in here on a hanger versus just a hook. More storage up here. Here's one of your thermostats. All right. Coming into the bedroom first, you have a north-south facing bed, queen size bed, and it's a full length queen. So you can fit, you know, taller folks on here as well. Beautiful, beautiful sconces they've put here on the end. The cabinetry just looks absolutely gorgeous and you got a lot of it. Plenty of space for a CPAP, plenty of space for your coffee, your iPad, whatever you need over here. They've done a really good job here. You have your TV over here, Furion air conditioning unit right here. And I believe this unit has two ACs in it. I could be wrong, but I'll check when we go back out. Like they put little hangers right here as well for clothes, robes, things like that. Over here, you got that lot of wardrobe space, extra deep. This is part of a wardrobe slide, which also encompasses the sink, which is in the bathroom. Looks really, really nice. Um, they've just done a great job with this. Medicine cabinets recessed in the wall and it opens up. Power plug. Again, just beautifully executed in this space. Really nice encore, one piece shower, multi-head sprayer. Has a cornered porcelain foot flush toilet. You have a spot here for your towels and robes. Nice mirror above. Then you have some more storage right here. Very, very cool. Again, they've just done a lot of things right in this unit and a lot of focus towards ergonomics and making it a very livable unit. As you can see, absolutely no carpet. The heating ducts are also underneath things, so you don't have to worry about, you know, stubbing your toe on them or stepping on them. No carpet here. Everything's completely flush as well. Just a beautiful unit. A lot of great things. Let's take a quick look at the outside, then we'll wrap the video up. Okay, we're gonna kind of hop around on this. This does have the Rhino box up front with the Rhino frame. Uh, you can actually opt this with a Gen Y frame or a Gen Y goose box as well if you want to go with a, a Gen Y kingpin or the executive gooseneck connection. In here, you have your 30 pound propane can, one on each side. You have your controls for sound. Some stuff over here, a little sprayer. You can access your main components and serviceable components through there. They've done a good job with this coin rubber matting, putting it all around this area. Nice aluminum bath deck. They've tried to do as much as possible to eliminate kind of like the top pain points that people generally have when buying an RV. Basically taking out the headache that people typically associate with parts that might fail or go out. So they, they focused really heavily on quality. Right here is the Furion on-demand water heating system. You have your Nautilus panel in here. They have a cord. I believe this is a 50-foot water hose. So instead of having to hook up a water hose, it's built in and it's on a reel, which is really nice. And this door opens right here. You have your electronic leveling controls right there. More access to things that you might ever need to service at some point. This is all magnetic. Outside of your furnace. Your running gear is pretty nice on this. So they utilize some things that are a little different. First of all, 17 and a half inch H-rated tires. Very, very, very good load range for a trailer this size. You have the road armor suspension, big fan of that. Heavy duty shackle straps, greasable wet bolts, big fan of that. And you have the reinforced shackle hangers as well. Very, very nice. And this is gonna ride on an eight inch I-beam frame. Going around to the back. All LED lighting, super cool strip lighting. You got extra storage back here as well. 
has a two inch receiver. It is rated for towing. I think it's 3,000 pounds towing, 300 pounds hitch weight. Not a fan of doing it though, at least I'm not, so I don't recommend it, but it's back here and they've rated it if that's something you're interested in. Beautiful back end to it. It does have the Furion camera already installed on the back as well. But what do you guys think? Walk on roof. Love the, uh, the Brinkley badging on here as well. Just looks super high end. Rack and pinion slide over here as well. Again, what do you guys think? What do you think of the Brinkley product? I'm actually really impressed with it. You know, the one thing I missed going in was the fact that it has the screen defender right here. If you have puppies, they're not gonna tear into it. Plus it has the screen assist to help you open the door and a friction hinge. Plus it also has the, uh, the thin shade up here to be able to shade your window out. All things that you might add later, they're just included, which makes a lot of sense. And then you have space underneath your stairs here for shoes and things you might take off. Super cool RV, leave a comment below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. I think they've done a great job with the entire Brinkley lineup. Big fan of their product. Um, I did a factory tour out there and it was an unsponsored factory tour. I just happened to be in the market when I, uh, when I went out there. They let me see everything they were doing and I was actually really impressed. I didn't think I would be as impressed as I was. Definitely a brand to look out for. They're doing a lot of things right. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up and we'll talk to you again very soon.